Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make um, keto cinnamon French toast. So it's super easy. You need a bowl that can be microwaved, four tablespoons of butter, um, some pork rinds, this swerve confectioner's sugar, not, not sugar, but confectioner's sugar replacement, and um, some ground cinnamon. So first what you wanna do is um, make sure that the butter is melted into the bowl. And I used to make keto pork rind churros by um, like putting everything in a plastic bag, but this method is super easy. So let's uh, microwave this and um, get it all melted. Okay, so now that the butter is melted, you're going to add uh, four, between three and four tablespoons of the swerve in here. I can't remember how much I added before. I guess I'll do uh, three. It's a little under three, I guess. And then mix this up. and then add your cinnamon. And I love cinnamon, so I just kinda like, I put a whole bunch in here. You probably only need like two teaspoons or something. Okay, so now that this is all liquidy and ready, you want your, um, your puffs to your pork rinds to be kind of like broken up. So I kind of like to break them up like in the bag a little bit. And then add them little by little so that you make sure that everything is getting coated. Okay, so you've got a few in here. Maybe like break it up with the fork, but make sure that they all get coated up real nice. And you'll know when to stop because you'll have just like a little bit of extra um, in the bottom of your bowl. So you want everything to be coated. That's the way that you get rid of that pork rindy taste, which I do not like because I actually really don't like pork rinds. Um, I need them to be coated in something or taste like something else. So I just measure as I go. So I still have a little bit of stuff you can see down here. Um, maybe I'll add just a little bit more, but then I'm gonna stop. It's also not the least messy of things that you can be making, but it's fine. All right, so once you are sure that all of these are nice and coated, this is what it will look like. And then you just put it in the fridge just like this. I mean, I guess you can cover it if you want to, but um, if you're gonna eat it later, but you can just put it into the fridge now and put it in for about like 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and add the milk. Okay, now we have our cereal that has been in the fridge for the last 15 minutes. And as you can see, it kind of is all like hardened up a little bit. So you wanna kind of just break everything up so that it's not all stuck together. And 
And then once you're done doing that, you can add your milk. And um, I'm using the Silk um, Organic Almond Milk. It's unsweetened. And you can add as much as you want. I'm gonna just finish this off because I went to Costco and bought the huge pack of them and I don't actually use almond milk <laughs> that much, so it'd be nice to get rid of a container. So anyway, this is what it looks like once you're all finished and just mix it around. You can let it soak a little bit if you want, but it is super, super delicious. This is only the second time I've made it actually and I don't know what I was waiting for. So um, it's so good. And if you really enjoy cereal, then this could be something for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.